Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back at Jessica's fabulous mansion. We've given it a good clean throughout, we've knocked down and moved some walls, we've refurbished the three pieces of furniture she wanted to keep, we've put in this beautiful new staircase and now we're going to start decorating and putting in furniture and making it into an absolutely fabulous mansion. So we're going to start on this landing area. So we've got Beowulf light brown panels is what she's looking for. I think full dark wood is a little bit too old fashioned for her because she's quite young and seems to be quite modernish thinking. But we will keep the dark panels, I suppose that's suggested by her dad maybe, to keep the traditional theme of the house. So we're going to go for a paler colour here on the top half of the wall because the red that's currently on the walls is much too dark so I think a, a brighter lighter colour will bring in the light from outside and just make the whole place look more modern and more up to date and allow a lot more light in through these big French doors. I put quite a lot of the panels down but I suspect um, that we're going to need to buy a few more because it is quite a big area I think. I think we're going to have to go around the edges of this door frame as well with that. I suppose we could buy paint to do it, but um, probably better to just use the panels as well. Right, so let's just keep working our way through the panels that we've got when I can find where I've put them all. I've just dotted them all around, so we just keep picking them up from the closest pile and see how far we can get. So how many did I buy? Six or seven? I do think we'll need another one or two, probably so hard to estimate how many panels you're going to need. Wait, there's one we missed, or two we missed there, because the, the, this landing area just changes its shape a few times across the length of it, so there's another change there, look. Interesting kind of shape where it just keeps kinking in different locations. And then there's another one near the door, I think, isn't there? And then. Yeah, two near the door, maybe? Even? I don't know. But yeah, there's lots of different little small changes. It's not just one oblong space, it's just lots of little tiny changes in where the walls are. Yeah, there's another little one, that. And then we've got a, one window. Only one window, though, to go around the edges of with the panel. Eh? So that's not going to use up quite as much as when you've got two or three. Yeah, so these dark panels are just a tiny bit darker. Yeah, a tiny bit darker than the original ones, aren't they? Not a huge difference, but just a, a little bit darker. Definitely fresher and cleaner and nicer now, though. It's the same style, exactly the same style as the old one, but just a tiny fraction darker by the looks of it. Could be that the old ones are very faded, but I, it does look like it might be a fractionally dark brown. So we're making very good progress here. Right, have we run out? I think we have. It's a bit of of light. And there we go. One at each side, two over here maybe. I'm still guessing how many we're going to need. Right, so let's start again from this side. See how far we can reach across from up here. Right, round the edge of the door frame to make sure we've not missed anything. Shall we change that pink one? I think we will. Right, let's pick up what we've got left here. Let's go from this side now. So we'll see what we can reach from the landing and then we'll go down the stairs with the next step. Can we reach it from there? No. No, we're going to have to go further down. Yep, we can reach now. Right, let's just double check that we've not missed anything. Let's 
check all these edges, make sure we've got all the edges, yeah. No, I don't think we've missed anything, have we just checked the window? Yeah, no, I don't think we've missed any. Right, so we can sell what we've got left. So there are about 10 stacks, I think, in total there. And then for the floor, the Hudson Dark Brown. So we'll do the door frame, and then we'll do across this front section. And we'll work our way down here in little sections where it keeps changing shape. So to the corner there. And where do we go to here? This edge here. Don't forget the... Oh look, that matches what's down that little corridor area. That's nice. And, oops, no, that wasn't what I meant to do. Oh, right, go away. In this corner all the way across to here yeah, and then we fill in all the little bits that we've missed oh and it matches what's in that room there oh nice right, so we check we've not missed any i don't think so right so what furniture do we need there's our little renovated table there so yes two chairs so i assume these should go close to this renovated table. So the Kira leather armchair. I think we want to go white, cream, light brown, light grey. All of those would work probably, but I think I'm going to go for the cream and then we'll go white on the base. Let's do the Titian white on that renovated piece downstairs. Do you know what? I'm tempted to put the two chairs here with the table. Can I put them with the table in the middle? I, s I think there might be. That's not quite a big enough gap. So how about we put the two chairs in the gap and we bring, let me just check if I can fit them both in there, no. Right, so what I think I'm going to try and do then is pop the two chairs in like the alcove and bring the table forward, like that, maybe. So if we put the two chairs at the edges and then put the coffee table sort of in front of those like that then you've got a nice little seating place next to these big French doors which we need to pop in and um, we've still got plenty of access around them as well. Should go white. So you could go brown though to match the panels or you could go white to match the columns and the balustrade on the balcony itself. I'm going to go brown though I think to yeah, that looks quite nice with the panels, I think. I think it's only the black there that wouldn't really kind of fit into the decor that we've got there. Right, so let's see what else I want on the landing. Oh, the Celeste Chandelier, yeah, that's very pretty. So, um, cream or... Ooh, rose? The pastel rose, pink. I think she's a pink kind of girl, don't you? Ah, oh, Jessica. Right, so one at either end. Does that look pretty in line? Maybe that one wants to move just a little bit. Oops. Right, where's the best place? There we go. I think that's... Yeah, that's right, I think. Um, right, what else do you want, dear? There's some Celeste's sconces on the wall. So you could put two on one on this walkway side, or we could put one on either side. I think I'm going to put one above the stairs, just to light up the stairs, and then one on here to light up this walkway area between the rooms. It's kind of the access space, and you want to make sure you don't trip over things. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we've got, what, three paintings now, so we've got to decide where to put them. So I think we'll go for the silver frames, the night watch where the chairs are maybe because that's the only one that's got that or the landscape orientation the other two are portraits so they fit better not above the chair girl with the pearl earring verma um, silver frames yes we'll go silver frames so we could put one here on the landing Let's try and sort of centralize it on Centre to the wall or centre to the gap? Centre to the gap, I think. And then the final one is... Flowers and Vars. On the landing here. That's a good spot, I think. 
Yes, lovely. Right, so that's all done, I think. Yep, double check. Yep, that's everything. So that's our landing space completed. Yes, that looks much, much, much better than the dark red that we had before, doesn't it? That's very pretty. And then that refurbished coffee table actually fits in really well with the colour scheme we've got there. Right, so this little, like, corridor walkway leads to the bathroom is separate from her bedroom. I'm kind of expecting her to turn this into an suite. Right. I want to feel like a princess waking up here, so a four-poster bed is a must. Keep it mostly in white and pink colour palette with some extra sparkle. And don't forget the mirrors. Yeah, I said she was going to be a pink girl, didn't they? We called it. So pink, white and grey seems to be her preferred colours, though she specifically said keep it mostly pink and white, so she doesn't mind a little bit of grey here and there as an accent colour, but definitely not as a focus colour. Right, so this is definitely her suite of rooms. So this is the bathroom, then the little corridor area is probably going to have a wardrobe or something in that for a dressing room. And then the big area where we're knocked through is going to be her bedroom. Right, so we go for the pink tiles, because that's a simple choice, isn't it, considering that she just said white and pink, so... That was the only pink we were offered, so we will definitely be using that. Now the walls. So we've got the same pink tiles again. Then we've got pink mist or pale pink paints. We've got speckled red. See, speckled red to me isn't pink or white. It's separate. So do we continue? Yeah, let's continue the mosaic pink tile up on two walls. And we'll put white paint on the top half so that it's not too overpowering. And then we'll use one of the pink paints on the other two walls, I think. Um, I think this end wall and the door, wall with the door in it are probably going to be the half tile, half paint. And then where the, t where the windows are, those two walls are going to be the paint, pale, pale pink painted wall. That's hard to say. Pale pink painted walls. Lots and lots of tiling in this job because we've got the tiling panels of wood on the landing. Now we've got actual tiles on the bathroom. So we're doing a lot of tiling in this house, I suspect, here. I'd, I'd kind of like to do Jessica's suite of rooms in this episode. And then maybe in the next episode we do the other half of this top floor. The bathroom and the extra bedroom. I think that's kind of the plan for this episode and the next one. This one will probably be a bit longer because we also did the landing in this one. Right, how are we doing on the tiles? Oops. Okay. Now, should I stop at the door? I'm tempted to stop at the door for a little bit more of the pink paint. Now, do we go for the very pale, the pink mist, or the slightly dark? I think we might go for the palest one. Oh, look, that's almost an exact match for the tiles. Oh, that was a good call, Kitty. Right, so painting time. Relaxing painting time with Kitty. Beautiful soft pink. And then you get this great view of the water out of the window here. And the added advantage to this house is I don't think anyone can see into the house. So even if you've not got curtains, you're going to be safe with your privacy in your bathroom area. slowly work around, make sure we don't miss any of the nooks and crannies around the windows with our pretty pink painting. Quite a small bathroom, but I think we're going to be able to fit everything that she possibly needs in there. Not waste any space. Like I said, downstairs is going to be a bit bigger because it's got two little extensions on either side of the main centre of the house, so upstairs is much smaller than the downstairs. It's going to cross there. Yeah, I think that's going to work actually by di dividing it where the door comes in. Let's paint around the door frame as well. Just to hide the brick just in case we leave a little 
the gap by where we put the door in. Let's finish this off. I wonder if you'll need the same colour of paint anywhere else. We might just move it around in case we do. This the whole area is going to be sort of pink, isn't it? I haven't looked what other items she wants in the other rooms yet. Oh, this should be the last one, I think. Lovely. Painting done. Yes, now we've got the other pop-ups for the other items. Let's just move it for now, because we might need it. Might not, don't know. Lights. Tasks. Right. Good. Oh, no. Ah, right. So she wants a nice bathtub. Do we put the pink taps with the bathtub and then this fits over here. We'll move it a little bit closer toward the, <coughs> toward the window because I want to leave space for everything else and access. Alright, all plumbed in. That's it. We've got our beautiful bathtub. The sink with full stone marble countertop. So I want a paler colour I think. Hmm, so I could go for the grey marble, I suppose, but I think I like the one with the flex, so we're going for the snowy again, because it's, it's white with a little tiny bit of grey in it. She did say grey as an accent colour in her mood board, so I think that will work better than it being plain white. Fit all the fixtures and the pipes and everything in. And the outlet, you bend, turn all the taps on, all down. Nice. So, now, lights. What sort of lights should we put? Hmm. Interesting. Definitely got some different choices there. The uh, Coley in the Diviti sconce. Very, very girly and ornate. Not something I think I would personally put in a bathroom. I guess our rich princess wants to feel like a princess. I guess it kind of makes sense. And the Celeste sconce is what we've got on the landing, so it could match, but I don't know that I want to. Ooh, there you get to add the nice pink shade on it, so I think we'll go for this one. So, two on the other end here, and then two above the bath, I think, from where the markers were. Look a bit further across there. There we go. A uh, mirror, I'm going to guess that that's going to be, not a picture, yeah. Something pretty. Is there something pretty? Or do we just go for a fancy ornate frame? Or do we go for a fairly simple one? Do we go for grey or do we go for white? Um, grey wood? Grey beach. Grey beach, I think that looks prettier. Right, let's make sure we centralise that above the sink. Yep, I think that's going to work. Um, we are going to put curtains up good, good, good. I much prefer privacy in bathrooms. Right, so a rug. It's either got to be the pink one or the grey one right near the end, so I think I'm going to go pink. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think, doesn't it? Right, what else do we need now? So. Uh, curtain, suspended toilet plumbing and a door. Okay, so we're going to put curtains up. So base will be silver, pastel rose colour, details in white. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do and we'll have our nice privacy here. Yeah, that's definitely the best way to go. Right, pop, pop in our three lightweight privacy curtains. Suspended toilet plumbing system. Now we've got to decide where we're going to put that. 
Right, so how about in this corner here? Now there's only one suspended toilet in the choices now, so we will use that. Do we keep it white or do we go keep it grey? Is there a paler? Oh yeah, that's kind of like the snowy, uh, oh no, not the green, yeah, the snowy one to match the um, sink. thing we're missing now is the door isn't it so yeah I think that's quite pretty it's very princess like isn't it she wanted to feel like a princess in her suite of rooms I think that that will work as a room for a princess right so white doors because we don't have pink we do have grey we use grey as the accent yeah grey wood is the accent colour yeah so we want panels on all three spaces because we don't want mirrors for people or glass for people to see into a bathroom. And then the frame, do we go for the grey wood on the frame? Yeah, I think that's going to look quite nice. Let's pop that round. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll use that then for these suite of rooms. Assuming the other doors are going to match that, we'll use the same kind of colour scheme. Then we might use mirror, um, not mirrors, um, glass on the panels instead of grey wood because we just don't want people to be able to see into the bathroom. So, do we keep the flooring or do we change it? Hmm, pink, white, grey. We've got quite a few choices. I'm, I don't really want to go for one of the brown, brown woods if we're going to change it. How bright are these white panels? I think they're quite bright but they might be okay because it's quite a small room. Let's try this. Yeah, that's going to go okay. Right, what sort of wall do we get? Do we want to reuse that paint? No. So we're using the panels. I don't want to use brown. I think we want to use white and pink. Do we use white base and pink tops? So that we've got the white coming up off the floor with the white panel and then swap to pink. Yeah. That's a very similar colour to our paint that we used in the bathroom. I think that will work quite nicely on our wall. It's looking less and less likely that we're going to be reusing that paint though, doesn't it? Because if she's putting panelling in the smaller room, she's probably going to put something fancy in the main room as well. Yeah, and she is going to want wardrobes though, so she'll be being asked to put four wardrobes in here, two big ones and two small ones. Because we've got quite a few doors that could be interesting to try and fit those in. I we'll have to think carefully about the position and we might have to move things around a few times to get it to work. Let's start from this side here, meet at the window. So we could always paint the interior of the window with the paint that we've got there if we wanted to. But I think we'll use the panel in and we'll keep the paint just till we check what's in the bath and in the bedroom area first. Though I do think it's less likely now that we're going to reuse it. Right, so we have the white and the light ear scene. And this will finish the window and we'll probably have a few left to sell. Top section and then just this side here to there, then we'll have a few left. Alright, let's sell the ones that we've got left. And then looking at where all the doors are, we are going to be a little bit difficult to fit things in, I think. So. Right, which chandelier shall we use? Look, that one matched one of the um, wall sconces that we could have used in the bathroom, but we didn't. How about making the Nevia with a pink base? So it's a little bit smaller and we are in a smaller room. Yeah, I like that. That's very pretty. So next I think we want to do the doors. I'm assuming it's going to match the one we've just put on the bathroom. There we 
go. And then we need to fit in the, is it three wardrobes or something like that? Yeah, so we've got the grey for the frame then. And we'll keep the glass in the door. And then the handle, should we make it pink to match our colour scheme? Then we've got all three colours from our colour scheme in it. Let's line those up with where the wood changes in the floor. And then rotate this. Oh, rotate it the wrong way. We go all the way around. Line it up. And I think it's um, three wardrobes or something, isn't it? Because of the space. Yeah, so we've got one narrow section there next to the door and uh, a wide one. So try and fit this in. So make it pink at the base and mirrored with the doors. It's the Carubia light wardrobe. So we've got two at 200 centimetres and is it one at smaller size? Right, so where will that fit? I think we'll start with the biggest wardrobe right in the corner with the wider section there between the wall and the door. Because the other side is not going to be wide enough to fit that, is it? So we'll try and find right the very corner We'll check if it... No, we can't fit the second one next to it. So we're going to have to put it... No, it's not going to fit there, is it? So it's going to have to go on this opposite wall, but we'll move it further away from the door uh, because the size of the space on the wall there is a little bit smaller. And then the smaller wardrobe we can hopefully fit next to that big one behind where, practically where we're stood right now. So let's try and pop that in there. Perfect. Lovely. Right, so I think that that... Yeah, the chandelier works okay there with that, doesn't it? Okay. So she doesn't want us to put a um, blind or anything on the little window. Let's just check if we need the paint in this room. Another one of the doors. So white for the main thing. Uh, glass pink and grey wood for the frame. Line that up. I'll do the door first before I forget the colours and things that we've been using, so we want to make sure everything matches up. Right, choose a floor finish. I really don't fancy using tiling, though the terracotta tile matches the colour scheme quite well. I don't really want to use that in a bedroom. I think it's just too cold underfoot. Not really sure I want to use the white panelling everywhere though as well. Let's have another look at a colour mo um, mood board. Hmm. Doesn't really give us a floor view particularly, does it? Four poster bed is a must to want to wake up feeling like a princess. Keep it mostly white and pink with some extra sparkle and don't forget mirrors. So, I suspect we should use the white wood panel like we used in the little dressing room area to keep it all consistent. And if we think it's much too much, then we might consider changing it later. But I think we'll go for the white panel flooring for now. I just really don't want to put tile down. I think the wood is much warmer even though it's a pale colour. Right, so let's check the walls and see if we do want that pink paint that we kept. I don't think we do, do we? No, we need to sell that pink paint. Oh, and it was uh, trying to be clever there keeping it, but we didn't need it in the end. I think we'll go for the pink panel at the bottom this time. So it's the Beowulf pink low panel and we'll use, which colour shall we use? Silver glass here? Let's use the silver glass here. It's a sort of whitish, greyish colour so I think that will kind of match the colour palette and uh, look nice and fresh and princessy. Right, bye bye paint. Tried to save you. And again, much more of the panelling tiling again. Let's have a relaxing tiling session this time, shall we, with the panels? How's that? Yeah, I kind of like that, because that, that sort of grey almost looks pink with the pink right next to it, actually. I quite like that idea. Okay. 
it's a sort of softer colour than uh, if it was all white I think it'd be a little bit of a harsh colour to wake up for and like I said she wants to feel princessy and wake up feeling like a princess so I like that idea I think this, this colour scheme is going to work okay and I don't think the white wood on the floor is too bright I think it's going to be okay especially if we've got a big rug or something there as well maybe put a little bit of a grey fleck in with the fireplace that she wants us to pop in and don't forget it has to be a four poster canopy bed and she specifically requested that Get the edges of the windows, Kitty. Oop, I need another piece there to fit that. Yeah, so she's got quite a few windows in this room as well, so she's going to get lots of light. We're going to have some big flowy drapey curtains or something in here. That would kind of fit, wouldn't it, with the princess theme? I need more. I never quite finish a window, do we? In one go, we have to come back and get more. We're making very swift work of the room, though, considering how many tiles we've got to put up. We're getting there around very quickly. Alright, don't forget you've got to come back to the window, kitty. got some more. Might not have to buy any more, we might have got it right for once. Let's check around these windows, I think that's all we're missing now is the edges. Check around the edge of this one. And I've got a few more somewhere, there they are. We might just have enough, look at that. Oh, we're going to have one left. Oh, how close was that? That was lovely. Right, double check if we've got everything done. Yeah, we haven't missed anywhere. Yep, we've got all the edges there. And there. Right then. We can sell that last one. Lighting. Now we use the Nevia in the um, dressing room area with the pastel rose top, so we'll do the same in here. So two, right, so one, I assume it's the same, yeah it is, we'll double, just double check, yeah, pink. Right, now we we'll make sure there's a positioning. Oh, much too close together. Oh, oh, hang on, how many have we got? Oh, we're going to have three. Oh, okay three chandeliers in one room that seems a little excessive okay right we need to move that middle one i think a little bit to space them out better right furnishings let's see oh a desk yes yes she's a student so she should have a desk that's very good i think i like the agma light colored desk best and i'm thinking it will fit just in that gap between the two windows white top a bit of pink in there somewhere Pink on the legs, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, pink top and white mainframe. I think that would be nice. Yeah, I think that fits our colour scheme. Well, it just fit, it just fits. Look in the gap. Maybe a tiny overhang, but I think that's I think that's going to suit because it's quite modern. It's a decent size. Oh, we want a proper chair, don't we? The Solium or the Conte, I think, would be the best two. I think we'll go for the Solium leather chair. Hopefully it's got a bit of pink. The legs can be pink and the top's going to have to be white or cream. Mm, could go for the pale grey. Yeah, I think we're going to go for the pale grey because I think the cream is not quite our colour scheme. The white is just too cold, so we'll go for the cream. 
what's this one? Oh, the bed. Right, she wants a canopy bed. So it's got to be one of these last two, the Astrid or the Christian. So do you want the metal poles or the wood poles? I think we're going to go for the metal because it's more modern. The wooden's a little bit more old-fashioned. Look, we've got the pale pink drapes already on there, look. Ooh. That's quite nice. Mm, I don't know that I like the white. Pastel? Mm, suits the colour scheme, but I think I like that light, sort of pinky colour. Is that too pink? Mm. <laughs> so we have a pink frame, definitely. White details to match our colour scheme. The pink. Mm, I could go for white or pink on the drapes, couldn't you? A little bit of grey maybe for an accent. Pink cushions. What are the variations of the pink cushions? Well, that could work quite well, I think, for the cushions. Uh, could even go for white, couldn't you, to match the colour scheme? What do you think? How does that look? Do you know what? I think that looks actually going to work quite well. Go with the paler dark drapes instead of too much pink. If we have everything pink, it's just too much pink, isn't it? Right, the Caledum electric fireplace. I think we do want some white. Maybe snowy again to match the bits we've gone done around the edges. Yeah, and then... Um, Hmm. No, maybe we'll go for that one for the fireplace, and the first one for the fireplace, and then a little bit of grey for the interior, so we've got a little bit of grey on it, maybe. Light grey? Yeah, light grey, and then pastel for the, the pieces on the front, the details. How does that look? So it's sort of a slightly more grey mainframe look, and then pink on the metal bits, and then a pale grey for the interior. Yep, that matches. Light it all up. Now, some more furniture. We're going to have some, like, comfy chair, setty, soft, poofy type thing. Oh. Oh, is it not... Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's nightstand. Oh, were they expecting us to put the bed between the two? Oh, maybe they're expecting us to put the bed in that spot where we've put the fire. Okay. I think we'll go for the Remoris light coloured nightstands and we use the pastel rose and then the white details. Yep, pop that at either side of the bed. I kind of like where I've put things now. I don't know that I want to... Hmm, it depends how much extra furniture they, they want us to put in here, doesn't it? If they want more like, seating and stuff, we might have to move things a bit. They do want more seating. Hmm... I think we want something cosy and soft, so maybe the Kira will be the better one. And I think, oh, pastel rose, beautiful. White legs again, yeah, that matches what we've been doing throughout, doesn't it? Um, now, the question is, do we kind of put a chair at the side here, or, oh no, we want two. And a coffee table. Right, I think we move the... Head up into this corner. Yeah, let's move it up into this corner. To open up a little bit more space near the fireplace, I think. I don't really want the bed right next to the windows. And can we make this work without having to move everything? Hmm, could be a bit tight. Do I move things or do I try and make it work? So we could put the desk over there, couldn't we? then that gives us more space to work with here. There's quite a lot of space to work with here. So if we move that back a little bit, yeah, and then this one. Mm, we're going to have to 
play around with the space to make this work a little bit. I think we might need to re-angle that a little. Right, so what sort of coffee table are we going to be getting? I think I'm going to go for the epoxy coffee table again. I keep using this one quite a bit, uh, but I really kind of like it. White with white wood and pastel legs. Yes, I think that's going to work actually. Right, what else do you want us to have? Oh, a poof. Hmm. We only want one chair. Right, I'm a little bit confused by what it's asking me to do now. I suppose if it's her room, she maybe she doesn't want lots of things. Right, let's have a look. What else do you want me to get? So we want we didn't want two armchairs. We wanted an armchair and a poof. Right, pasta ropes. Ooh, that's not quite the pattern I was expecting. You know. Hmm. What about the other one? Ah, much better. Yes, that suits our design much better, I think. And the grey wood on the bottom for that. Maybe we we'll pop that at the... Oh, we could put that there. Couldn't we? Let's have a look what else we need in the room. Oh yes, yeah, she did ask for mirrors, didn't she? Uh, white wood. Grey beach. Grey beach matches what we put in the bathroom. So we use grey beach again. Oh, she is going to have lots and lots of mirrors. I know she did say that, but I wasn't really expecting that. I was expecting like one mirror, maybe two. It's like she's going to be asking for... Oh, that is two. Okay. Instead of painting, she could prefer mirrors. Oh, another one. Let's put this one above this dressing table, beds bedside table thing here. Okay. Right, what else have we got? We've got one more. Yeah. Oh, a rug, yes. So we used the pupus round rug in the bathroom. Maybe we match? That's not big enough. Uh, or is it? For the side of the bed, I suppose it's big enough. But if we want to like a bigger depends how you're gonna use it. If you're gonna use it just as a to get out of bed in the morning, then that's fine, isn't it? If you wanted it for like under the chair and table for like the seating area, you'd want a bigger one. I think we're gonna just go for the little one. Is that everything that we needed? I feel like I missed something. I think that's everything she's asked for, isn't it? So I think we'll leave the episode there. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I We'll see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!